When I get depressed, the whole world looks kind of bleak and shitty and pointless and everything goes wrong and small simple things of great beauty look stupid and there isn't any point in trying anything because nothing ever works. I am well aware that the root of feeling like this is probably some deep, unaddressed psychological trauma, but when I get depressed I usually choose to ignore all of that and try to find a superficial way to fix it so I don't act like an asshole. One thing I've done is writing repeatedly in a journal that everything is fine and dandy and everything that was bothering me was actually not bothering me at all because I figured if I wrote it enough times it may be, possibly, may sort of eventually come true. I've tried this a number of times and I can tell you firsthand that even though it can occasionally sort of work, the results tend to be somewhat temporary. I've also spent many an evening rearranging my furniture. I guess the logic to this is that I figure that the person who has his room arranged this way was a sullen, moody bummer, but maybe the person who has his room arranged this way was rather well adjusted. It's worth noting that if you spend the evening rearranging your furniture and are actively surprised that your outlook on life has not changed at all, it has a tendency to make you feel like kind of an idiot. This one is probably going to sound a little eccentric, but scout's honor, I did do it. There was one period where I figured that if I was overly moody and emotionally unstable, I should try to become German, or at least the common stereotype of what German is. I figured if I was obsessed with efficiency, furniture design, right angles, and listened to a lot of craft work, I would become a cold, unemotional man-machine and stuff wouldn't bother me as much. This not only did not work, but was also based on an inaccurate assumption, because I have since met many German people, and they're pretty much as screwy as everyone else. If anyone out there is thinking, golly Lev, all of these actions are really counterproductive, you're kind of stupid. Well, I wholeheartedly agree with you, but really, what else am I supposed to do? Being perpetually bummed out for no particular reason doesn't make any sense at all, so one must figure that an illogical problem would have an equally illogical solution. I've also said the hell with it and taken a glorious swan dive into the pool of overindulgence. This is universally frowned upon, but has an interesting side effect of diverting you from the cause of your bad mood. All I can say is there's a really big difference between waking up sober and wondering why you feel like crap, and waking up hungover and knowing exactly why you feel like crap. Lately I've been trying to have a certain degree of acceptance that I'm probably always going to be moody and that's just the way it is, but it's kind of hard to be okay with that when you see the sort of people that you usually don't like very much having a good time. I don't know how to end this video, so I'm just going to end it. Hi, this is Lev. Just so you know, I recently revamped my ingredientx.com website. It now includes a Tumblr blog, a new store where you can get original video stills, and a whole bunch of other stuff. The link is in the description of this video. And as always, please subscribe. Have a look at this video and this one. Patreon contributors, thank you. I love you dearly. Thanks very much for watching, and see you next time.